Yesterday, we went over Llama 3, which is the best open source large language model that has ever been made. We went quite in detail where we measured its performance in comparison to other models. We showcased the architecture as well as so many other components. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at that link in the description below to take a look at that video. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be taking another step forward and exploring this model further by evaluating its performance further in detail. Now, if you are to go on Twitter or on YouTube, you're going to see a lot of mixed results of this model. For example, take a look at this image, which is showcasing the LMSYS leaderboard. And this is where it's focusing on the benchmark that assesses how a large language model can solve real world problems. And it showcases that Llama 3 is the best open source large language model that can do this. It is outscoring GPT-4 as well as Claude 3's Haiku model, which is just great to see. Then on the other hand, you see posts like this, which is showcasing the synthetic benchmarks of models such as Llama 3's 400 billion parameter model that is going to be releasing soon. And this will be the first ever open source model that is going to outperform GPT-4 as well as other proprietary models outright, meaning that it will outperform all of these other models in each and every category and these are just synthetic benchmarks but you can see that there's a lot of synthetic benchmarks a lot of evaluation metrics that are out there not just for the 400 billion parameter model but for many of the other models now all of this will lead you to wonder how does it actually perform should you use the 70 billion parameter model or the 8 billion parameter model which model is actually somewhat close or relatively close to gpt4 well, these are questions that we're going to be answering as we showcase the capabilities of these models through testing in various categories like reasoning, mathematics, coding, and many other benchmarks. Now, this is where we're going to be testing it through their chat model, their instruct model, where we're going to be chatting with it and seeing what sort of results it's going to be able to generate. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. Sorry for being repetitive, but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to AI tools completely for free. These are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency. Just being a patron this past month, you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free. Not only do you access these subscriptions, but you gain the ability for consulting, networking, collaborating with the community, as well as with myself. You get access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Llama 3 model. We're going to take a look at both Paris, the 8 billion parameter model, as well as the 70 billion parameter model. And we're going to basically see how it evaluates in various categories. Now, first things first, we're going to showcase how you can get started with this. You can get started by trying out the demos with Hugging Chat, which is where you can access the 70 billion parameter model, which is the instruct model. And you can start chatting with it right away. You can utilize this model on meta ai spaces you're also able to test out the 8 billion parameter model on hugging face spaces now there's also other avenues such as lm studio olama and many other places where you can try this model out so if you're interested i'll leave some of these links in the description below so that you can get started i'm actually going to be making another video which is going to showcase how you can install this model as well as the uncensored model so definitely stay tuned on that but let's get straight into testing these two models out so first things first, we're going to ask both of these two pairs of models the meaning of relativity. So we're going to explain the theory as if I am eight years old, I'm going to ask this model as well as the 70 billion parameter model. We're going to first start off with the 8 billion parameter model. And this is where we're going to be assessing the large language model in the category of reasoning because it involves the model's ability to understand a complex concept. And we're going to generate an explanation that's going to make sense in simple terms as an eight year old would understand. This is where I'm going to be having it so that I can get bit more clarity, simplicity. I'm going to try to get an accuracy of the explanation, engagement, as well as understanding. This is the five key key like criteria that you would want to assess a large language model in the reasoning category. So we can simply see that with this 
generation so far, it starts off by explaining in a simple manner. You can see that the simplicity is there. It starts off by, oh boy, are you ready for a fun adventure? I'm going to explain the theory of relativity to you in a super easy way. So you know how we all learn about how fast we can move, like how fast we can run or how fast a car can go. Well, there are there's a really smart guy named Albert Einstein who thought about blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to be going and reading all of this over, but we can see that it is putting this perspective of the answer in a simple manner where the explanation is being broken down into the theory, into simple concepts. And we can see that it's focusing on an analogies. And we can see right away that this is doing a great job with the 8 billion parameter model in terms of its generation. We can see that there is a good engagement where the explanation is engaging and captivating you. And it's keeping the attention of the child, as we had mentioned, write it as an eight year old would understand. And we can see that after you're reading and listening to this explanation, it's going to demonstrate some level of understanding of the basic concepts of relativity. And we're going to see that it's not going to grasp all the details, but it's going to explain it quite like in a good manner. So we can see that it passes and does a great job in terms of reasoning on the eight point parameter model. This is just a simple benchmark that we're using in terms of assessing the model's performance in this. Now I'm going to be going over to the hugging chat 70 billion parameter model, pasting this in and seeing what sort of answer I'm getting. Now, just from a brief overview, I can see that both of the models did a great job with a simple and concise answer. After reading this answer by the 70 billion parameter model, it was able to do a great job in simplifying this complex theory as an eight year old would understand, same as the 7 billion model did. But the first response uses a playful tone. And this is something I noticed as I was reading through this. And it focuses on a storytelling approach, which is framing the explanation in like a fun adventure type of method, is breaking it down into concepts by using relatable scenarios like throwing a ball or a moving train, as well as comparing clocks with a twin brother. Now, this narrative is effectively illustrating the idea that is different with perspectives and it can exist simultaneously and it introduces the concept of time dilation in this accessible manner on the other hand when i was reading this uh, generation by the 70 billion parameter model this response adopted to a straightforward approach where it presented einstein's theory of the mind-blowing idea and it uses different examples as it did with the first generation from this 8 billion parameter model and it focused on this example where they showcased throwing a ball on a moving train and this is basically to convey the core principles of relativity it also emphasized on the interconnectedness of time and space and you can see that over here in one of these paragraphs, it was focusing on the idea and the principles of relativity. And it focused on the how it depends on motion while also showcasing how it is interconnected of the time and space of that idea. Now, while I can see that both of these responses are both engaging as an eight-year-old would understand, I thought that the first answer that the eight billion parameter model was a little bit better in terms of effectively capturing and maintaining the attention as an eight-year-old would. I'm not saying that this generation is wrong by the 70 billion parameter model, but it's just great to see that even the eight billion parameter model is gonna be able to output such a great detailed answer, even in comparison to something that a 70 billion parameter model would. So next, we're gonna be assessing how the models are gonna be able to solve challenging Python problems. These are pretty tough problems for large language models to solve, but it looks like the eight billion parameter model was even able to solve this. This is where I asked it that you are given a list of integers representing a stock price of a company over a certain period. Write a Python function to find the maximum profit that can be obtained by buying and selling the stock at most twice with the constraint that you must sell the stock before you buy it again. I gave it the prices and in this case it explains explains each step-by-step -step process at, as to how they were able to get this answer. Now, basically, in this case, the maximum profit that can be obtained is six, and it is able to get that output, where it is stating that the maximum profit is going to be six. However, the function returns three, which is true because the profit is three after you are to sell it on day eight, 
when the price is $4. And this is where the profit is equaling to a total of $3. And basically the problem is more challenging because it's required to find the maximum profit from multiple buy and sell transactions. Based off of the inputs that I gave it, I'm basically assessing how it's going to be able to calculate the maximum profit that can be obtained with the Python function. And now we're going to basically ask the same sort of problem, but towards the 70 billion parameter model and see how it's going to be able to generate it. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. And it looks like that the 70 billion parameter model was able to get the right answer where it was able to get the total profit, which is equaling $6. So we can see that it does a great job as well as getting the obtained final answer. And I think it does a better job in terms of explaining the solution a little bit better in comparison to what the 8 billion parameter model was able to do. Not saying that it didn't solve the answer, but it did a better job in explaining the output of their result where it was focusing on what sort of script to use, how was it, it was able to get that answer. And when I was actually comparing it to ChatGPT, it actually was able to formulate a better answer in terms of the explanation. Now, what I did next is basically assess how the model is able to generate code. And this is where I basically asked it to create a snakes and ladder game in Python with Pygame. Now, it was able to generate the code. And in VS Code, we can see that it is now paste it in and I can just simply click the play button to see if it works and let's see so we got the board generated now my screen is uh it's a dual screen so I'm not going to be able to showcase the other side because it is showing the game on the left side of the screen but I can't really move it because it's in Pi game but on the left side of the screen you can see that there is components of the snakes and ladder game that was actually able to be displayed now the great thing is that usually whenever I try to generate a snakes and ladder game with any sort of other like chat completion model such as chat gpt or with other models such as mistral it does a great job in generating the basic python game but it is always failing to generate the code for it to have it operational with the board now this is where this game does a great job in generating code with this and it is also able to generate the actual backdrop of it the board of the game and with functional characters which is just great to see now, if you want to test out other features or like categories and benchmarks, you can test out mathematics, which it does a great job in generation. For example, if you are to just test out this simple mathematic equation with the seven, the eight billion parameter model, it does a great job in solving it. And it also provides a comprehensive explanation if you do ask it further to explain what sort of components are being used in the equation and explaining each component it a little bit further in detail and both of these models like they basically do a great job in that category as well where it's able to do a great job in having a better refined explanation as well as a generation in comparison to other models and just seeing an open source model do things like this is just amazing to see as in almost every category it does a great job and it scores a great job in terms of its generation now i know we only covered basically three different categories but this is something that would just i would love to just do on a live stream possibly or even on discord where we just test out various components and if you're interested in that definitely let me know in the comment section below and we can possibly get started with that in the near future but that's basically it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and you got some sort of value out of it in conclusion i definitely see that both of these two models does a great job in comparison to other open source models and is basically getting on par with gpt 4s generation and various categories now with the 400 billion parameter model we should see it outperforming almost every category in in comparison to gpt 4 as well as other proprietary models like claude's models but I, and in the near, I would say in the future, like uh, in the summer, we're going to see GPT-5 potentially or even GPT-4.5, which is something that we should keep an eye out. But in summary, this is definitely a great model. It's the best open source model that's out there and there's a lot of value that you can get out of it. So definitely take a look at this with the links in the description below. Make sure you check out my previous video on Llama 3 because it goes a little bit more in depth on the architecture as well as explaining each component further in detail. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out the Patreon page if you want to access our private subscriptions that we give out on a monthly basis. We give out usually three to 
four different subscriptions to different AI tools completely for free. So if you're interested, definitely take a look at this. Make sure you follow us on Twitter. A great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day, spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.